Flake here with your news briefing. The PM's host down talk, he's dishonest. His government's been scrutinised over its handling of the cancellation of that billion dollar submarine contract with France. Scott Morrison says he's always acted in the best interests of the country. Of course the French are upset. I decided not to go ahead with a 90 billion dollar contract that would deliver a submarine that Australia no longer needed. The health ministers confirmed the country has surpassed that 90% first dose COVID vaccination target. Looking at the states, there's been nine COVID-related deaths in Victoria overnight and New South Wales has recorded two deaths. While the Queensland Premier is concerned a COVID cluster could form on the Gold Coast in light of those two previous mystery cases. While Anastasia Palaszczuk says there's been no new cases in that area overnight, two new cases have popped up in home quarantine. They are linked, which is uh, good news, both in home quarantine, so not at risk. But we are still concerned about the Gold Coast. Uh, two cases we have on the Gold Coast, they are clustering together. And the life of TV icon Bert Newton has been celebrated in Melbourne following the entertainer's passing aged 83. Legendary broadcaster and friend Pete Smith has spoken on behalf of wife Patty. I've lost a dear friend, a friendship that uh, has endured over well over 60 years. We became friends, Bert and I, out of a mutual love of radio. But over those years, my wife and I have shared so many wonderful private occasions, especially with Bert and Patty's joy at the arrival of their children. Get personalised hair loss treatment in five minutes delivered to your door. Clinically proven treatment for men and women. One pill taken daily. Thehairypill.com.au North captain Jack Zebel says clubs need to move on without players who refuse to get vaccinated. It's as Carlton continues talks with defender Liam Jones. And as the Aussies gear up for the T20 World Cup final against NZ, selectors have also got one eye on the Ashes. Chairman of selectors George Bailey's hinted Marcus Harris will be picked as an opener. Former vice captain Brad Haddon says he would go with the inform Usman Kawaja. Kawaja's experience at the top. I, I think Kawaja at the moment and Harris, that maybe you'll see just a little bit in front. The T20 decided to play out early Monday. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Top of 15 and rainy today and it's likely those showers could continue into tomorrow with a top of 14 and a low of 7, cloudy as well. And on Sunday, those showers should come in the morning and then ease. For radio, podcasts, music and news, download the free listener app.